Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis and I've got two things to tell you tonight. One is a big surprise, it's been secret for a while and I'm finally ready to share it with you. I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, I just wanted to remind everyone that we're doing the Patreon-only live stream tonight at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. So if you're a Patreon supporter of the channel helping to keep me keeping this whole thing going, go to patreon.com slash praxisprepper and you can jump into the live stream. If you're not a Patreon supporter, I'll still be making the live stream available to everyone. We're going to be talking about homestead building, retreat building, and anything else that comes up. So I'll make sure that I make that available to everyone. So the secret, it's something I've been working on really hard for the past six months. Uh, I'm really excited about it and it's finally ready and it's ready to be shared with you guys. And I made a video about it. So here's the video. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. One of the primary driving missions of my preparedness channel has always been to try to help people by sharing knowledge and experience. I feel this way about people at large that I don't even know that I've never met, but even more so for my family, where I'm always trying to help keep them safe to protect them, and beyond that, to try to teach them to protect themselves. As a dad, I'm always looking for opportunities to share my knowledge about preparedness with my boy, and I do that in a number of ways. You know, as simple as just when a topic comes up, discussing it with him, we'll go hiking, we'll go camping. When it comes to preparedness, I always try to explain to my boy what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But whatever the approach is to sharing these lessons, I've always found that they work better and he pays attention more if it's fun and it's engaging. I try to do that with my YouTube channel as well. I try to keep things funny and I try to keep them light. What are the kids today calling it up? Uh, splitting the wood. No one calls it that anymore, the wood, I Dad. I did that with the Alien Invasion series with the science fiction element and trying to keep it interesting and dramatic. That's not a good sound. I'm just gonna move out of it. Okay, we'll do this later. Flipping that off. Holy shit. And now I'm doing it again with a new card game that I'm calling Bug Out. Bug Out is a fun way to share ideas related to emergency preparedness and wilderness survival skills with your family and especially with the kids in your life. The entire structure of the gameplay fosters values such as preparing for hazards, saving up for the future, balancing potential risks, and striving past obstacles. And in addition to this, almost every card in the deck has its own unique preparedness or survival tip related to what's going on in the game. I also designed the game to be super easy to learn and anyone can play it without having to learn a huge pile of intricate rules. And I took a lot of time with the artwork to make the cards look great and grab kids' attention. Essentially, play breaks down into the mindset that there's been an emergency situation, there are problems, and there are solutions, and your goal is to manage both of those things while you're pushing forward towards success. That's a lesson that's useful in an emergency situation, but also just in normal day-to-day -day life. If a game like this sounds like something that you might be interested in giving to your kid, grandkid, or anyone in your life that you think would benefit from a little extra prepper mindset, then here's how you can help to make this into a reality and be able to share that gift with whomever you had in mind. The good news is the card game, the packaging, everything is all set and ready to go. My goal has always been to have it ready for the holiday season this year. So if you have people in your life that you think would benefit from these sorts of survival and preparedness messages, you'd have an opportunity to share this game with them. The only thing missing, as a matter of fact, is just the funding to bring it to the printer, get it all printed up, and send a deck out to you. If you'd like to partner with me to create this family game experience and get a copy or two for your own family as well, please consider making a pledge towards the goal needed to get this project printed. I have rewards set at many different levels, including the chance to appear on one of the cards if you're so inclined. And that's it. The links are below. Thanks for watching. Right, so this is something I'm really excited about. I think it has a lot of potential to help people to share prepping with you know, non-preppers in their life in a non-crazy sounding way that's fun and enjoyable and brings people together and just gets people thinking about these things. If this is something that you'd like to be able to get for your family, here's how we do it. Uh, we are running a Kickstarter campaign for the next uh, almost two months. It goes till the end of August. So if you want to get this thing, you know, put together so you can get a copy of it, you have to jump on board before the end of August. The way the Kickstarter works is that people put in orders and if we reach our funding goal, which is the amount of money it takes to get this thing printed out and shipped out to everybody, if we reach that goal, you know, everyone gets billed, you know, I bring the thing to the printer and then I send everything out to everyone. But if we fail to reach the goal, even by like $1, uh, the way it works is that Kickstarter doesn't bill anyone. There's, you know, no one's on the hook for any money, including myself, which I was kind of happy about. Like the only thing I would be out is a bunch of time. But, you know, as 
for you and everyone else, you know, no one gets billed anything unless the project happens. So if you want to do it, you have to put in the order before August 31st of this year. And the reason it has to be that early is because it takes a certain amount of time to get things printed and get things uh, sent out to everyone. So it's like a holiday thing kind of have to do it right now. So before August 31st is the time to do it if you want to do it. Uh, there are a bunch of different, uh, you know, rewards and incentives there. I, I mentioned in the video, you could even get your face on one of the cards. There's going to be some wild cards in the deck. And I figured, you know, why not have some people, you know, that want to be super uber preppers and come in and save the day in the deck. So if you want to be one of the wild card, uh, you know, characters in there, you know, that's an option available to you as well. So that's it. I just want to throw it out to everyone. Obviously, I'm excited about it. I think that it has, a, like I said, a lot of potential to, you know, help people in the same way that I've tried to, like, you know, open up prepping to other people by having, like, the comedy elements on my channel on my channel and having, you know, the Alien Invasion series and everything. Just trying to make this seem like something that is a rewarding part of people's lives and it's not like crazy apocalypse preppers and all that kind of stuff. Not that necessarily apocalypse preppers are crazy. You know, there's always apocalypses. That's what we do as human beings, is we create terrible situations that come crashing down. But, you know, you don't like to think about it that way. And there are so many SHTF situations that are not that, that, you know, the idea that people get held at arm's length from being prepared because they see like the, you know, really over the top, like end of the world preppers on TV, that it makes them think, well, you know, being prepared for even like, you know, my car breaking down, that's not for me because that's crazy. You know, that's an idea that we really have to get out of people's head to make our society more resilient and have more people just be into being prepared for basic things, especially people we care about in our family. So that's it. I will see you tonight if you're a Patreon supporter. And, if, you know, if not, uh, like I said, I'll still be releasing that video to everybody. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.